Hello, I'm Bullet Point Brad. No. Hey, Gun! What? No. Hello, how are you today? No. No. I'm not like, no. Alright, let's learn something. No. Fucking ass, man! Fucking Bullet Point Brad is back in here, man! Roar! Bullet Point Brad. No, but seriously, I will be with you every step of the way. Blue pens and red pens and ruler ready because today. We're going to learn something. Today, we're going to learn the nature of sound. Sound, sound, sound. Computers are incredibly crap at imitating reality. Reality is incredibly crap at imitating computers. That's just a little thought of the day. All sound is a vibration of air particles coming towards your ear. Oh, yeah! The difference in that sound is the difference in the configuration of the vibration of the fucking particle. Let us continue. Here's a speaker. It's pushing and pulling air. It's sending out a sound vibration towards your ear. Think of a, like a, a fucking hose, right? You, get, you tie a hose to the fucking fence and you, you go to the other end of the hose and you shake it upward. And what do you see? You see a wave. Now imagine that the hose is actually air particles, not a hose, and that's what a sound wave is. And your hand is the speaker. Piece of piss, mate. We have the cone moving in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. When it moves fully out, it's created a compression of air particles. On the contrary, when it moves inward, it creates a decompression of air particles. Between the two extremes of its outward and inward movement, it will form a wave of vibrations, just like that hose sent to your ear. <laughs> Take the pressure down. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. <laughs> a sound wave is 3D. <laughs> Radiating in 3D. <laughs> okay. So how is the speaker made to make the sound wave? It's sent a signal of how it's supposed to act. This is the sine wave as we know it. They're eating her and then they're going to eat me. The height of the sound wave is the volume. Shorter height, lower volume. Danny Dorito. Taller height, higher volume. Danny Dorito. If he was tall. So how do we change the pitch of the wave? The note of the wave? Um, hmm. I wonder, oh, yes, by stretching the length of the wave. So we call the pitch the frequency. The frequency is the regularity of the crests as shown here. So if we're to draw that zero line, that nothing line through our wave, through the center of our wave, and then if we're to choose a point where our wave crosses that zero line, so here, and then look at the next one. Oh, well, that's a mirror. It says, look at the next one. Oh. What do we have here? The sound is repeating. This, my friends, is a wave cycle, a single oscillation, a wave shape. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's a sine wave. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. But do we have to have sine wave? Always with the sine wave. Yes, you can have your triangle. You want to be a robot, huh? You got the square. Square on and off. I, I don't know any betweens. Gray area, what? Now I know why you cry. And if one plans to make synthwave or retro, one must use the sawtooth wave. <laughs> you want different wave shapes? You can have anything, anything you want. Bullet point brass. Wow. 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 So let's get out the parametric equalizer. Say what? This wave is being irritable. Come again. Double that frequency. One octave higher. Double that frequency. 
One octave higher. Double that frequency. One octave higher. Double that frequency. One octave higher. <laughs> well, no, not again! <laughs> it was only a dream. If only that was all there was. What makes one sound sound different to the other? So, apart from pitch and volume, what makes one sound sound different to the other? I mean, what if a trumpet sound was playing at the same volume and the same pitch as a violin sound? Well, the answer is the timber. I mean, timbre. I mean, tomba. I mean, trumba. I mean, I mean, whatever the fuck. It starts with T. Toomba. Timber. Tamba. Timber. Whatever the fuck. The fuck. The fuck. The fuck. Now, hopefully without blowing anything up, I'll explain the harmonic content of sound. Hey, you might remember me from the show that, um, that you're watching right now. Too much swearing for you from Brad, is it? I think you're on the fucking wrong channel, mate. Maybe you you, you were looking for play school. Demonetize, I don't give a shit. I don't want to monetize this shit. I'm telling Gary, the owner of this channel, there's no fucking monetizing or I'm out. Fuck monetizing. You want to watch ads? You don't watch no ads with me, all right? You're not going to be watching, eh, three in one. Well, this, maybe my hair does need three in one shampoo, but fucking, you're not watching ads for McDonald's. Fucking Wix. Or shit, like, check it out, I made this website with Wix. My girlfriend just fucking left this property because she had anaphylactic um, reactions from tick bites. So now I'm like alone. I'm alone as fuck. Get out the fucking violin for Brad, right? And start supporting fucking Brad. Make a little smile on Brad's face. I've been producing computer music for fucking 22 plus years, mate. You might go, oh, but why isn't I could summer like a, as popular as X, Y, Z? Because I'm not a crowd pleaser. I'm not a fucking ass kisser mainstream schmuck. I don't know what kind of person you are, right? You might be that. Doesn't matter, either way, if you fucking follow my videos and check out my packs, it's gonna help you. My Tell You No Mega Pack would sort you out forever on fucking Tell You No. Alright, go and make an account on thepatchbay.co.uk right now. It's not just me on there, but there's also some other artists on there. Midnight's on there, Midnight, Time Cop 1983's on there, Wave Shaper's there, Pengus is on there. You can get drums from Pengus, mate. I'm telling you, he's, he's, he knows his shit. This shit, it's fucking raining, mate. It's fucking raining. I, do I care? It's fucking rain on me or whatever. I don't give a shit. What the fuck? I don't care, man. My hair, man, it's getting wet. I don't give a shit. What the fuck, mate? Even those hard guys like from hell. I'm not even gonna say who they are, the hard guys from hell. They can't mix, mate. Don't they know how to mix down in hell. It's all about evil, but oh, where's the mixing, mate? The only, the only fucking dark synth dude who knows how to mix, I'll tell you right now, is Daniel Deluxe. The quality is not there, man. There's like, let's face it, there is a small select few who actually know how to deal with audio correctly, okay? There's 10%. There's a divide between quality and just, eh, who cares, bedroom shit. You want to sound studio? Either way, you can get popular. But do you want to be getting popular sounding like a bedroom schmuck? <laughs> Hell no. Then follow my shit. Uh, do I sound like a bedroom schmuck? Check out the song at the end of this video. Alright, you tell me that's bedroom. Support me, follow me. If you can't put your hand in your wallet, right? The least you can fucking do if you enjoyed this video is share it, mate. Perpetuate this fucking thing because there's going to be some hot knowledge coming your way. I want to correct this scene. It's just got clouded by amateur shit. Even the gatekeepers, the majority of the scene are going, Wow, this is, yeah, wow, this is the new standard. Well, fuck off, new standard. Fuck off. The bass line must be heard. You can't have the bass line buried in a big fucking orgasm of reverb. Orgasm of reverb. It's just, I'm sorry, it's just shit. All right? Bass line, hello. And it's not me getting famous. I don't give a fuck famous. And you, you can't have a, a, a rattly old snare drum that sounds like it's hanging off the back of a cow's ass. <laughs> You go and get a fucking real drum pack, mate. Go and get fucking crystal clarity drums. Oh, look, I have some facial hair all of a sudden. What? I wonder why that happened. What? Do you remember the thought of the day? The thing I said at the start of this tutorial? Computers imitate life very badly. Life imitates computers very badly. Let's focus on that for a moment. In life, there are no straight edges. Think about that one. Do you think there's a straight line? 
in life. There's only curves in life. So is a square wave really possible or is it just an illusion? It sounds like a square. Is it really a square? No. Is it possible to do a square? No. What is a square wave? Well, a square wave is just a pile of sine waves at different frequencies. So we know a sine wave with more regular peaks is of a higher frequency, a higher pitch, and a sine wave with less regular peaks is a lower pitch. The more jiggles that happen, the higher the frequency. The less jiggles that happen, the lower the frequency. Take a look at this example of me altering the wave shape in real time using Serum. You'll notice when there is just a flat line, there is no sound at all. Now I'll roughly draw a sine wave. Mind you, it won't be perfect, but just note that the changes in the waveform are not very sudden. And it only goes above the line once and below the line once. We have pretty much a bass tone. Suddenly the flow of the wave jumps. It makes a big exaggerated step. That's causing harmonics at a higher frequency because we know that more exaggerated changes correspond with higher frequencies and less exaggerated changes correspond with lower frequencies. Really? Wow! It's interesting also to note that you can have both high and low frequencies. Let's have a look at this. Here we have a sine wave. Now let's add another sine wave at a higher frequency, a higher note, and see how it looks when they're both going at the same time. And look, so we have the big sine wave happening. <laughs> and along the path of the big sine wave, there's a little sine wave. <laughs> so we have both sine waves happening at the same time. Really? Wow! You could say that one sine wave is added to the other. Or you could say that one sine wave is modulated by the other. Let's see what happens when I draw a really psycho shit. Really psycho shit that's really, that's changing heaps. Really, really hyperactive wave. Jumping around everywhere. Here, there, up, here, there, up, there, here, there, everywhere. Here, there, everywhere. Here, up, here, there, all over, up, down, up, up, here, here, there, everywhere, 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 everywhere. What are we hearing now? Well, we're hearing a lot of high frequencies because of the rapid changes in the wave, the abrupt changes in the wave. We're hearing a lot of harmonics in the highs. Yes, sir. So what we're looking at here is two things. Higher frequencies and lower frequencies existing in the same wave shape. Oh, right. And harmonics, which are generated by abrupt changes. Fucking hell, mate. Now, going back to what I said about other shapes, like saw, square, triangle, etc. Rigid shapes, not being really rigid shapes, but really being a combination of sine waves. 
That's all the universe can make. Sine waves, really. Can always only make almost, 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 repeat to infinity, square waves. Woo! What's in this? You don't want to know. There's no such thing as a square wave for you, you're saying. Okay, bullet point. Prove it. Okay, then I will. OC9 millimeter. So, first I'm going to show you how you can go from a square wave to a sine wave using a filter. Take a look at the sine wave. It has no harmonics. It only has the fundamental frequency. Now take a look at the square wave. Bang! Look at all those extra frequencies happening there. You can see that the square wave is a combination of heaps of sine waves then. You can do it. Okay, let's use a filter to filter out those harmonics of the square wave and turn the square wave into a sine wave. As I bring the filter lower, you see the shape of the wave changing back to a sine wave. Really? Wow, wow, wow. Because the harmonics are getting removed. Now we just have the sine wave. <laughs> if we were to have a sine wave and we wanted to create those harmonics, we would require a bit of simple maths or not. It's up to you. So, sine is the function we're using because we're dealing with sine waves. I'll explain why pi is involved later. But let's first put in the fundamental frequency. It's one over one times sine and one times x times pi. There it is. The amplitude is one. The frequency is one. Notice it crosses exactly in the center there. Okay, let's add our first harmonic of the series. There. It fits really nicely into the fundamental frequency. See how it fits just so neatly. One third of the amplitude and three times the frequency. It's one third of the overall height. As you can see in one oscillation of the fundamental frequency, we are seeing three oscillations of the first harmonic. One, ding, two, ding. three. Let's insert the next one. And now it's one fifth the amplitude of the fundamental frequency. And it is five times the frequency. And as we can see, it fits again neatly in, into the fundamental frequency. <coughs> this is not always the case, but in the case of square, it is, which is, it's really pleasing for those OCD types. Notice because it's five times the frequency, it has one, ding, two, ding, three, ding, four, ding. five crest within the fundamental frequency. Yeah. And we could go on. <laughs> and if we did, we could have a look at 139th. As you can see, within the fundamental frequency, there will be 39 <laughs> crests. Okay. So we've compared a few harmonics to see how they fit with each other. But this time I'll add the first harmonic to the equation of the fundamental. Ah, what? look at this. That's how it adds. You see that? And as you can see, it's starting to already very quickly look more like a square. Let's just add the second harmonic here and third and fourth. And the wave begins to take the form of a square. The equation gets pretty damn long. Now I'm going to add all the rest of these harmonics up to 20 and I'll show you what it looks like. There is our the beginnings of our square wave. It's made of a fundamental frequency and 20 harmonics, all sine waves. We'll go back to the fundamental with only two harmonics. That is the whole fundamental, the first and second harmonic. They are odd harmonics because it's one, three, five, seven, nine. It's not always the case like the saw. So how does this formula generate this shape. Mm
anyone wearing 10 million something bucks is gonna have a real bad day, Kenneth. You think you're saving a life? This whole place, everything you see is gone. It happened.